Lies. All we know is gold chains and hollow tips. Body split soon as the chopper spit. Cold game shouldn't have been the opposite. Feeling like it's 92, how I keep the chronic lit. Sit back, watch a young nigga do this. Pay attention, I'ma put you on some new shit. Loyalty before royalty, that's the blueprint. Feast on another beat and spit out the toothpick. Need great dust, pink fifties, purple cushion, blue strips. I'm out for new connections, politicking with the Jewish. My mind only pumps for dollar signs. Hi, this is Tyler Kimani with Eargasm Media. I'm here with Most Wanted. Yeah, THL, you know we came to hold it down. That's what's up. Yeah. Why the name Most Wanted? Like, are um, you are you wanted in the state? Nah, <laughs> nah, I mean musically, yeah, musically, but as far as other things, nah. It's just a name that, you know, it kind of describes my music. Okay. It's like stuff, it's, I see it as, right now the music game is missing real substance. Mm -hmm. So once they really get a taste of my shit, then that's what the name going, you know. Okay. It's all going to come together. That's Most Wanted. You know? And you said Most Wanted kind of describes your sound. So yeah. how would you elaborate on your sound? Uh, I think my sound is West Coast. Um, real, like an old school feel. But old school feel as far as the vibe, like feeling the lyrics, you feel me? Mm -hmm. But it got the new, the new, the new school beats. You feel okay. Me? So that's how I describe my sound. A lot of passion, a lot of pain over some slapping ass beats. I was gonna say it's very passionate because I was yeah. listening to it. I was like, this is very Appreciate passionate. That. You kind of, cause you had a Mozzie song that came right after your song, yeah. and I kind of got confused. I was like, wait, hold on, <laughs> they kind of sound the same, yeah. just a little bit, but no. it is. I did a, um, a re I remixed the Mozzie song. That's okay, yeah, was. I was like, um, did he got a song with Mozzie or something? Nah, I will be remixing nigga shit. I like take a verse off and I throw my verse on there, so, so it sound like we did a song. Taking niggas beats. That's what Basically, you. Basically, yeah. okay. Jumping okay. on that shit so people could hear. Like I really could rap. Okay, that's what's up. So, um, you tweeted. I think this is a lyric of yours as well. I promise you that I'm gonna be successful. They think it's all palm trees on the west coast. Oh, yeah. These California streets get stressful. It's like living in hell. hell. Death right next door. Sure. Explain yeah. this lyric, please. Um, basically, it's like everybody think California full of Hollywood, palm trees, sunshine, acting and shit. But if you're really from here, then you know what it is. Like it ain't pretty as it seems. You know, shit get real. Niggas dying every day out here, every second. Motherfuckers is police trying to kill us and shit. It's just too much out here. You feel me? It's, how do you mm. put, because you said you have a lot, you have passion and pain. So yeah. how do you um, cope with pain, death, etc.? Because I'm sure you've lost friends yeah, and definitely. family. Mm -hmm. How do you cope with pain and put it into your music and make it relatable for everybody else? Um, how I cope with the pain? I mean, personally, music for me is my stress reliever like so if i can't talk to nobody i'm gonna go talk to the mic like that's how i get my feelings out no mm -hmm. matter what it is so that's how i cope right there just writing the shit out and people relate to it because i'm talking about real situations you feel me i ain't out here faking the phone sugarcoating shit i'm gonna tell you the truth straight up it might hurt but i'd rather tell you the bold faced truth than the ugly lie you know what i'm saying i feel you that's how i see it and you're also like you kind of are into politics a little bit you yeah, yeah definitely the i just don't like it's too much corruption. Man. Yeah. Niggas is crazy. It definitely so I'll be is. trying to put that shit out there, you know. It definitely is. But why is it important for artists to be aware of politics and things that are going around, you know, going on around them? Because you got a voice. Yeah. I was going to say, because some artists be like, oh, I don't, I don't, I'm a rapper. I'm an artist. I don't really get it's into bullshit. politics. Rappers got to use y'all voice for a reason. You feel me? That's why we put y'all on the platform. We want you to speak for us. Exactly. For we need y'all. Y'all Yeah. Niggas be trying to turn it back when they get there. I mean, I understand some shit like it can really fuck up your career, but. That's where you gotta, you know, have some balls and take that risk, my nigga. Real. Exactly. So I see it. That's that's how I feel too. Speak up, cause we need y'all. Definitely. Y'all do more than just. You gotta stop talking about partying and taking this and taking that. Exactly. You feel me? Exactly. And you also have THL Records. Can you elaborate yeah. on THL Records? THL Records. Uh, that started as kids. We were still in high school. It's just something um, we wanted to start our own group. So it's me and a couple other fellas that I know. So we push, push each other. What does the THL stand for? Um, it's plenty of different meanings. The high life, the hustle's lifestyle, trust has limits, a lot of stuff. Time heals life, you feel me? It's a gang That's of dope. shit. Yeah. Um, I interviewed you a long time ago when I was like writing out yeah. articles on my blog. I don't you even did, think you did. Oh God, you did. Yes. I remember, I remember. You've been going at it for Damn, a long time. that's funny. Yes, yeah. we both have actually. Yeah, definitely. You've been going at it for a long time. Yeah. So do you ever like get discouraged sometimes on your journey as an artist or do you um, ever get down? Yeah, all the time. All the time, hell yeah, I'd be like, what the fuck? But that's when it comes to me having to put in more work. Mm -hmm. I can't get mad at, you know, that stuff and not going how it's supposed to if I'm not putting in the full effort. Like, I feel like I'm shorthanding myself, kind of, so. 
I you just gotta go hard, you feel me? Exactly. Yeah. Is there, um, do you have like a motivation, like a motivational speech that you give yourself? Like how do you motivate yourself uh, to keep going? Shit, motivation is what I see. I mean, I ain't trying to be stuck in the same position. I motivate myself by just, I don't know. My thoughts is a motherfucker though. They do keep me motivated. I just tell myself, keep pushing. I mean, life ain't meant to be easy, you feel me? Like, you gonna go through obstacles, niggas gotta get through them. Exactly, that's some good advice. That's how I look at it. Just keep pushing, you yeah. can't stop. That's some good advice. Yeah. You're also Belizean. Yeah, definitely. How do you incorporate your cultural background even into your music? Uh, I'll be, I'll be throwing it in there. I'll talk about it. You see images and shit in the videos. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm trying to go back out there. Uh, I want to say, I love Belize. I went out there yeah. like two years ago. It's great. I'm trying to go back so I can get some more footage. You feel me? I got old videos and shit from like a while ago, but I might throw them in there. But I, I, I need some actual, actual footage from out there. You feel me? Would you ever collab with like a Belizean artist? Um, yeah. I was actually just working with this dude my brother knew. His name was John Miracle, but we didn't get to finish the song. He went back to New York. So okay. This was like two weeks ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. I talked to my cousin out there. They got artists. My uh, my homie Ja Art, he out there. Mm -hmm. We just ain't never recorded nothing. You feel me? But you better get on it. Oh God. Need some got cultural to. diversity. Yeah, for real. You know? And it's a you know mass market. More than just black, we have different cultural backgrounds. You Definitely. know, and we need to hear it in our music. Yeah, for sure. I you got know? you. We don't. We don't always want to hear Drake and his fake Jamaican accent and stuff. You know. <laughs> that nigga Drake with ting, ting, ting. <laughs> Fuck out of here, Drake. That's no, cool, though. You feel me? No, yeah. I mean, it's nice, but it's like it's not authentic. So it's That's like. That's true. It sounds good, but it just ain't organic. Like you it's said. Not, it's not organic. It's not Sean Paul, you know, back in the day, getting <laughs> light and all that. Sean Paul was hard. Exactly. Sean Paul. <laughs> exactly. So, what advice can you give to somebody who is an up and coming artist? Mm. You've been in the game for a very long time. You are still grinding, still yeah. trying to, you know, get yeah, your music I'm still out there. Break. I mean, I gotta get out the bubble. <laughs> what advice? What advice would you give to artists that, you know, might, like you say, might get discouraged sometimes because mm. he's been in it for so long? Um, I would say, I mean, you gonna feel that. That's a part of the process. You gonna get down on yourself because you feel like you should be farther than you are because you know how good you are. But you gotta keep grinding, like on God. Just keep pushing. Don't stop. Quitting is failing. So. I cannot quit. I don't care how hard shit get. I just dropped welding school so I could pick up another job, you feel me, to invest in my music. Oh okay. God. So nigga ain't quitting. So it's like a leap of faith. You gotta Basically have you gotta faith. take it. Yeah, if not then you gonna keep, you know, staying wishy washy about shit. I feel you, I feel you. And you just dropped a visual with Dundee Film. Yeah, my boy. Um, Lace, yeah. Lace, Lace with Game. Mm -hmm. um, it's deeper than rap. Yeah, that's the uh, the project I'm working on right now. Okay, I was gonna nah, ask. Nah, it's deeper than a dollar, actually. It's deeper oh, than a dollar. Sorry. Yeah, deeper that's the project than I'm working on. It's called It's Deeper Than a Dollar. Because it's more, all right, basically, I'm gonna try to sell my shit. Mm -hmm. But I don't want people thinking, like, oh, I'm just trying to get the money out of it. It's not about the money. You gotta re listen to this, you feel me? It's deeper than a dollar. Hear the substance, hear the content. You know, niggas okay. out here speaking real shit. I ain't just. I think people have gotten so comfortable with streaming music that they yeah. kind of don't. I mean, when when an artist be like, "Oh, can you buy this? Can you support?" It's kind of yeah. like support. I gotta buy. Exactly. We're just so used shit. to like hitting I mean, the download button. I do the same button. thing too, so I yeah. know how it go. But yeah, you know, I'm gonna give them options like that Nipsey shit. Proud to pay. You say, got an option, my nigga. Yeah. What you wanna do? It's deeper than a dollar. Definitely. This is everything. This is most wanted THL. Please check out his yeah. latest uh, visual lace with game. He's yeah. coming on hitch. He's gonna hit y'all <laughs> with it's deeper than a dollar soon. So I need y'all to get on here. Get on him because like he's been going at it for a long time. Like too long. That was like me. five years ago when I interviewed yeah. him. And he's a dope artist. He's not on that bullshit. Great sound. He's talking about some cool ass deep ass shit that we can relate to. Yeah. This Everybody can relate. If seriously, please, please hop on it. But this is Tyler Kimani. This is Most Wanted THL. We signing out. Feeling like I'm fresh out the Pacific. How my jewels drip forward. That's the only way we moving. Had to find myself in substances I was abusing. Focused on success, so ain't no second to be snoozing. I'm on the ground when the sunrise and the moon lit. I promise you that I'ma be successful. I think it's all palm trees on this west coast. No. These California streets get stressful. It's like I'm living in hell and death right next door. Next door. Fuck, you think I'm grinding for this wealth, folks? These niggas hate, so I gotta put myself on. Concrete bones are so made of Teflon. If you ain't here now, don't try to hit my cell phone.